show sharp playing dice go start off who are you better know yourself know your soul gotta know your wealth slow your roll get a hold don't melt it don't you fall when i feel like hell will who am i am i am me i'm not the one you want to fuck with late nights messing up my sleep so i'm flustered taking out aggression with my pen because i trust it right in front i get myself a lamb color cuss for the game leave from hanging by his chain click bang feeling rage feel it fire in my brain feel insane and it's all we feel the flame 45 to my brain brain more please help no glory Every day we'll get rejected. I got my story to be.
Hey everybody, it's Mars. Uh, well, another KVK down. I placed third, so that's good. Uh, we had uh, a few fighters in uh, our kingdom do pretty well. Anna took first again. Uh, she's just really optimizing her castle and she's able to take down a majority of the people that she comes across so that's really awesome um, <clears throat> I had a lot of fun um, I got to trap quite a few people um, and uh, I've really learned how to excel at that and I also got a few good hits in and uh, I really minimized my mistakes. I maybe only had one, maybe two, <clears throat> throughout the whole KBK. And so I left myself out there um, with the possibility of mistakes uh, to happen. But uh, I was able to think on the, on the move and play smartly. So that was good. If you haven't noticed, still recovering from uh, being sick, but <clears throat> we're going to do this anyways. So uh, I hope you enjoy the video. So this was my um, first trap that I did on lookout. And uh, as you can see, it was very successful on my part. Um, running conceal, so he thought I only had half the troops, and uh, he took some significant losses. And uh, once again, the thing that I look at the most is the power differential. So I lost 180,000 power, and he lost 1,750,000 power. So, <clears throat> pretty significant power differential uh, there in the loss of power. So, really, I mean, he has 419 uh, attack buff on his cavalry, which is awesome. Look out. That's great, man. It's really cool to see stats that high. <clears throat> the fact is, is I have a lot of T9 spearmen in my castles. And if it, no one else knows this, you should. T9 uh, spearmen in general are anti-cavalry. So I had the leg up there and I had the majority. I had a... A lot of troops in comparison to his and my 313 infantry attack is significant and the defense is pretty high and my HP is getting there so <clears throat> yeah he didn't have much of a chance so here's the second uh, hit I took and as you can see it's the power differential that I really care about and uh, 100, 187,000 loss power for me, and 1,837,000 power for him. So, once again, I mean, he's a legendary three, and uh, he doesn't have that great of stats, and just being able to take it. And so, you just gotta keep on going. So this was actually my third um, hit I took. And this is the legendary five we went up against. And uh, he's a good player. Uh, really strong. Really strong player. And um, he actually hits me on later on in the KVK and I'll show you that report uh, without any reinforcements or anything uh, and that was a that was a good battle but in this one 
I, I got him. I got him really good. Um, I don't really care for the cavalry hero he chose to send at me. Um, but I think that once again, I, I have my infantry stats high enough to be able to take a player like him down, especially when I have the proper reinforcements. And so that allows me to be able to take these, these hits from these legendary threes, legendary fours, legendary fives. And, um, you know, it's going to be really hard for them to zero me via solos. So just once again, work on those stats. You don't have to be good at with all the troop types. You just choose one or two. So my infantry is, is really good for where I am. And my cavalry isn't bad. I can actually switch things around and get my cavalry up to 300 too. But then my infantry loses its stats considerably as well. So they can kind of flip-flop. But really focus in on one and as I tell everyone else I really suggest inventory so this was uh, the only rally I took and I would have taken two others but they cancelled <clears throat> it just really ended up being really good on my part um, I prefer being <laughs> soloed by, um, by legendary threes and fours and fives, but, uh, this was fun too. As you can see, uh, they lost almost 400,000 troops and, uh, we only lost 75,000. And if you look at my survivor number there, I was reinforced. Everyone kind of just wanted to jump in there and be like, "Oh, uh, <laughs> let's let's take this thing." Um, actually, ended up having a few people bounce back out of my reinforcements just because it got f full so quickly. <clears throat> but as you can see, you can you can deal with large numbers. I mean, this isn't even close to as large as. I could have taken, um, but, you know, they only sent 800,000 plus at me, so that was their mistake, and I was able to take advantage of it, so, once again, better stats, good reinforcements, I win with a really good power differential. So, this was a pretty interesting hit I took um, from Lookout. And this is uh, one of those strategies that I've always been curious about. And I don't think this reflects um, how good the strategy could be. Um, I mean, I still had pretty much full re reinforcements. And he attacked in and he just didn't really give this strategy a good chance by just choosing a poor target but he's using these um, heroes that um, allow your siege when they die to deal damage equal to their max XP um, a percentage of it <clears throat> so but because my HP is high enough and Infantry has such high HP, uh, he was unable to uh, deal enough damage to give me any significant losses. As you can see, I only lost near 19,000 troops. Um, but this is really cool. I think that Rise of the Kings has done a good job by putting in a mechanic like this for variety. And as you can see, both of these... <clears throat> heroes do that so I don't think it's optimized by any means I think that his war machines aren't 
buffed up enough to be running this strategy personally, and it was um, not exactly the best target for him to try that on. Um, I'd be curious to see what this would look like in a defensive formation where you have a lot of siege, but it didn't work out for him. So this was a rally I was a part of with uh, Anna, and uh, we attacked uh, this reinforced castle, Hair of the Dogs, um, pretty interesting name, man. Uh, you know, I actually like his hero setup, I think he did, he, he did a good job with that, his stats are just not there to take on a high caliber player like Anna. Um, <clears throat> yeah, we pretty much just swung in with uh, a large amount of infantry and a little bit of cavalry, and uh, I think that uh, that was a profitable power differential. Um, you know, we lost just under a million power, and uh, he lost over three million, so really good. Uh, there was a lot of T10 um, infantry in there, and we were able to deal with that very smoothly. So it was a very clean, good battle, um, got some decent points out of it, and, uh, you know, rallying with somebody that has really good skills and can fill up a rally is always a good thing. Well, it came to a point where, uh, sitting around and uh, trying to get people to hit me wasn't working so I started looking for targets of my own and uh, this is one of them um, I like all the military points that makes me really happy um, he, I sent a combo of a little bit of Spearman T9, um, and then a, a good portion of T10 infantry, and then followed it up with some T10 cavalry. And as you can see, it was pretty successful. Um, You know, near 300,000 kills and uh, 50,000 losses. Um, acceptable uh, power differential loss there. And uh, just always, always really nice to see a solid swing like that. And uh, yeah, I was pretty, pretty happy with it. Um, <clears throat> As you can see, my infantry attack isn't as high, and that's because I'm only running Rhinoch, and um, I also don't get the buffs that I get for my um, my castle defenses. But uh, yeah, it still allows me to be offensive. So good, solid hit. So this was Shake. Shake's hit on me. Um, he did better than um, most that did hit me. Uh, he got 32,000, where the average that I saw was about 21,000 deaths on my part, or wounded, I should say. Um, I really like the power differential that I have there. Uh, he's all about the cavalry, and the cavalry is really strong, but like I said before, I have anti-cavalry troops in my castle, and that lends um, to defending against the high power that cavalry has. Uh, cavalry, in my opinion, has the most <clears throat> hitting power. You're going to get the highest yield of deaths uh, from your opponent with cavalry, but there's always that risk you're going to run into a castle that has a lot of anti-cavalry troops um, and you kind of hit a brick wall 
and I think that's what happened here. I had a lot of reinforcements, so he hit me at it in a an opportune time and <clears throat> I was able to defend him off with his uh, T11 cavalry uh, so very happy with the with the results but shake is an amazing player uh, 458 is insane stats that's really good um, he will destroy most players out there and uh, he got second in our in our tournament, and I only have good things to say about him. Good player. <clears throat> so you guys have seen um, a lot of reports that look exactly like this. Uh, another player attacks me, gets destroyed. Uh, the thing I really want to show you about this is how stupid the root out ability is. Uh, he has his on Dolan, and he has root out six. It doesn't give him any buffs. It doesn't allow him to increase his attack or decrease mine or add anything to it. And do you know what he got out of it? He got 678 losses. That's it. Now, he could have a different skill on there to increase his War Machines, and that possibly could have given him a few more kills. But instead, he put not only Root out, but Rapid Marching on his Dolan and that 100, 100 level Dolan is really really good so don't do that the root out ability is not good don't use it so I went on the on the attack for a little bit um, it's okay I don't I don't particularly like this report very much. Um, but, you know, sometimes you have to hit the smaller players and sometimes you have to get a few more losses than you'd like. But life goes on. Uh, I do have a failed report right here. And this is okay. I'm okay with this. Um, I knew he was going to have more troops out and he was on tile and so I had planned to double hit him on this tile and, and hoped that he wouldn't be paying attention closely enough and uh, yeah I mean 300 attack is really good um, I didn't have any reinforcements in my castle at this point so I didn't want to move my Rhinoch off of my castle in case I was gonna get hit so, yeah, I swung in, I hit, and I lost. Um, I had 74,000, 75,000 wounded, and he only had 51,000. So, and he won the power differential as well. So, yeah, and then we went again, and I, I won this one. Um, <laughs> So overall, we actually went even on uh, power differential. Um, yeah, I feel like I could have done better if I would have gone all infantry, um, but I didn't. And I went inf I went uh, cavalry versus cavalry essentially here, and uh, I, I wouldn't say this is exactly a blunder, but a learning opportunity for me to really look at things a little more carefully and, and play to my strengths because my infantry is definitely my strength and um, cavalry is more of an assist troop for me uh, to kind of swing through and uh, kill those ranged units so um, yeah just really really learn from your reports so this is the big report 
this is the report that um, really shows me where I am against top players. Um, this is a legendary five castle. Uh, he used his best heroes, at least from what I've seen. And, uh, ouch, it hurts. But, I was able to win. I won in the power differential. Um, my troops are cheaper to get back and, um, and to heal. So, you know, I was happy with that. Yes, he got more kills than me, but as you can see, the power differential. All 280,000 of those were all T11 infantry. So, I'm happy with it. Uh, as you can see, his infantry attack is higher than mine. His infantry defense is higher than mine. And his HP is higher than mine. Uh, the only thing that I had the advantage in was numbers. And I had also just got done tile hitting um, in the previous reports you saw. So I already had quite a few um, troops that were <clears throat> in my hospitals that weren't able to be there to help defend. But... Um, I'm okay with taking these hits. Uh, I'm not invincible. Um, yes, there will be players that could zero me, and he he could zero me if I wasn't paying attention, and I didn't have reinforcements, and I let him hit me two or three or four times. Um, but you know, I'm there. I let it. I let him hit. I accepted it. I shielded after. And I made the corrections that I needed to. Now, something that you guys didn't see in the previous reports is I send out <clears throat> I send out my siege. I send out the archers. I send out all of that. And I wasn't paying attention. This was what I considered to be my first big mistake. Um, was not sending those out to a uh, <clears throat> to a ruin to ruins to kind of just keep them out of my castle because all they're really good for is to die and I didn't really want those going to my hospital so yeah I mean you just you just look at it and uh He got me. He got me good. I got him back. I'm happy with this. His, um... <clears throat> his heroes are good. Um, his stats are really good. Uh, being able to put out 280,000 T11 are... is incredible. It's, it's really, really great. Um, his stats are really even um mostly throughout and i think that if he would have done as uh shake did and really focused more on one more one particular stat he'd be better off but uh he didn't do that he really focused on getting his castle as high as he could and that's okay um you can brute force through people uh when you're that high so, a good hit. It was a lot of fun. Um, yeah. That was uh, no reinforcements, no nothing. Just an Imano Imano. So, Basafa. Um, good job, man. I, I beat you, but you did really good. And this really gives me hope for Siege. Uh... A, he used Mina. Mina has a uh, anti infantry um, use on her. So that's awesome. And uh, what he did was he put a bunch of T10 infantry. Here, I'll show you. 
um, he put about, you know, 55,000 uh, T-10 infantry in front, and then he placed right behind that a bunch of T-10 uh, siege um, with the range and everything, and uh, they did a good job. I wish that at that point I had had more of my T-10 cavalry uh, to get through to them, um, but I didn't, and he was able to really utilize those uh, siege, and, um, you know, although I won, it, it gives me hope for siege that siege might be able to come around and actually be a useful troop. Quick shout out to Biggs. Um, he's all about the family. Uh, we had a little talk in uh, Kingdom Chat afterwards, and uh, hopefully he'll listen to my guidance about not using archers. <laughs> um, <laughs> I really hate archers, and uh, I I think that he'll get there. Uh, he said that he hasn't had a, this account for very long, and. Uh, you get better. Uh, I'm okay with the the million power differential there. Uh, I think that that's a good hit, and uh, it's happy happy with the results. He was reinforced, and I got some good military points out of that. So at the end, we uh, we tried to super tile uh, trap some players. <laughs> And, and we got a Tan to uh, attack us. I don't know what he's doing attacking us with no heroes. That wasn't very smart. Um, thank you for your for your troops for feeding us. Um, that's greatly appreciated. Uh, he attacked us twice. Um, <clears throat> and uh, got some, some good kills out of that. And then Shake comes along, and uh, he he just obliterates us um, <laughs> with the <clears throat> with the tile advantage with <clears throat> cavalry. Excuse me, that he has and his his really good at uh, cavalry attack. He's able to hit us hard, and uh, you know that's that's really solid. I I think that Shake will take a hit. Uh, will take hits like that all all day long. Uh, really good power differential for him. And uh, the funny thing was, I said after I was like, "Man, I am so sorry. I was distracted by my wife. We definitely should have pulled." He's like, hey, my son distracted me, DK did. And Mid's like, well, my nephew just showed up and he distracted me. So we were like, all three of us <laughs> got distracted at the same time. But uh, we did the right thing. Um, don't leave your guys out. Don't leave your members out to dry when you commit to a super tile. You gotta, you gotta hold in together, because if I would have pulled, or DK would have pulled, or Mid would have pulled, uh, that slaughter would have been more complete than it was. Um, once again, Shake, it was great playing with you, man. Uh, it's really sweet, those cavalry stats. Um, keep it up. Good luck in the future, man. Well, I'm going to wrap this thing up. Um, if you're wondering why players try so hard for getting top three, top five, um, these rewards are part of the reason. Uh, they're very, very helpful, and uh, they're pretty awesome. But I'm going to wrap this thing up. Uh, Kingdom... 196 good job I, I you're a really strong kingdom you have a lot of legendary threes um, legendary five and uh, a good 
a good amount of legendary castles to go and, and go with it. Uh, we kind of saw who we were matched against. We kind of saw your power, and uh, we kind of already knew. We kind of knew that we were overmatched, and we were a little salty at first about having uh, such a poor matchup because we knew that we wouldn't be able to uh, take the throne from you and uh, defend ours. So we kind of said, hey, we're going to play for personal points and uh, maybe we'll get lucky and pull off a win somehow. But the reality is, is we needed to lose so that we could go back down to um, some kingdoms that are a little bit closer to our power level. Um, you guys have some really solid castles and I wish the best for you in your future endeavors uh, Kingdom 209 my kingdom uh, really proud of how we conducted ourselves we do have those uh, issues with not shielding up uh, when we should or letting our shields last uh, and uh, drop midway through uh, we're doing a lot better. The percentages of players that do that are less. Um, but we, we did really good. We we didn't take unnecessary losses. We really thought carefully about our decisions. And uh, I think we did, we did really good. Um, on a killer again. Um, it'll be surprising to see you not get top uh, top billing in KVKs from here on out um, just because you're so strong and you built your castle right <sighs> well uh, I don't know what my next video will be um, if you have any ideas let me know I'd love to hear them uh, this KVK was a lot of fun um I sat on the couch a lot just because I'm feeling sick and um, just wanted to kind of relax. So the KVK really gave me something to do. So that was great. Well, I had a lot of fun making the video and uh, getting it out to you. Um, hopefully uh, you guys enjoyed it and learned something. Uh, this is Mars, leave me a like or a comment, and I'll catch you guys on the flip side.